The best toddler potty training training pan is hands down using your traditional prefolds, which you may already have lying around your house. They are just, you know, you can have Gerber or Baby's R S brand if you want to be economical about it. Um, just what I was already changing my kids on. These were typically what I would have laying by my um, wet wipes that I would lay on my floor if I was changing them. So many of these prefolds um, and cloth diaper covers. I have two brands that I'm going to be um, showing you today. One is the Thirsty's Wrap. It's, uh, you know, very economical in cost. It runs about $12.99 on Amazon, and it has a white clean inside. So unless it's a super messy mess, which typically doesn't happen with toddlers, I mean, with the pee pre-folds, you just put it in the wash, and if there's poop, usually, I, I know it sounds a little, well, this is mom talk, so I'm going to uh, shelter anyone from that, because I'm assuming your only mom's watching me, but um, go ahead and just kind of Lap it in the toilet, it usually just kind of slides off the pre-fold cotton. So here's your Thirsties wrap, here's the outside. They come in many cute co um, colors and patterns. Um, here's the tag. This is a Thirsties wrap size two. And the range and size weight that a toddler could wear this exact same wrap, I think is 18 pounds to 40 pounds. My 34 pound three-year-old still occasionally wears these at night and on toddler trips, although, oh, toddler trips, um, car trips, although he is really, um, he's pretty much potty trained, but we do have those occasional nights where if he's really excited about something, I might put him in one of these just because, you know, he could have a little accident or if it's on a really long car trip or we're going shopping all day and I think he might have an accident, these still fit him perfectly with plenty of room to grow. Um, so, I really like the snaps. You can get these in Velcro or snaps, but I suggest for a toddler, if you have a pretty um, high energy toddler boy like myself, um, you are definitely probably going to want to get the snaps. It's not that they couldn't get them undone, but the Velcro is very easy to get undone. So, definitely the snaps, they make everything stay put. Um, the snaps on the bottom are so, if you have a really small baby, um, or a really small toddler that you're using to potty train with, you can snap these up. Um, with your typical size toddler, you're probably not going to need to snap the diaper up. But that's what it would look like if you were snapping it up. Um, of course, you know, you could do it in a variation of ways. The snaps, even though they kind of look intimidating at first, really aren't. I mean, you just lay your toddler down and figure out, here's a snapped up one. But really, on your average size toddler, um, you're probably just going to have, you know, just going to snap it in on their waist to where it fits them, um, you know, securely. You don't want your prefold falling out. I do not use any type of um, snappies or pins on my prefolds. Um, I really just fold it exactly like this. Just take it, um, fold it like this, and I lay it right inside the cloth paper. Now because these are not expensive pre-folds, it is probably not going to fit in your cloth paper perfectly. So for a little boy or even a little girl, you just fold it right in the front um, and that just gives extra, you know, ex an extra layer of uh, protection there where, you know, if they had a pee accident, it would just give them a little more um, protection. So what you're going to do is go ahead and lay that right in your cloth paper, or right in your cover, um, just like this. You lay it down, and I just kind of lay the pre-fold right inside of it, and then of course lay my toddler on top of it before I'm snapping it in. And of course if it is a little long, you can just fold, fold down the front if needed, okay, just like so. And of course when you are putting it on your toddler, you are going to want to make sure that the pre-fold is, is inside the diaper. If you have any little bit of it sticking out, um, if they're sitting on your couch or on your floor, um, you know, some of that might leak onto the floor just because the pre-fold's sticking out. And the, that is the main reason why using cloth diaper covers is so awesome for potty training because they are able to, really able to feel the mess. I mean, they're gonna feel if they're wet and they're gonna feel if they've messed in their pants. 
but it is not on you if you're cooking dinner to run into the room because they feed on the floor because it's dropped on the floor. The chance of pee getting out of these is slim to none, in my opinion. Um, so it makes it really nice because your toddler is knowing exactly when they go. It's not going to be comfortable for them sitting in a sopping wet pre-fold. But it makes it where you can say, you know, hold on, you know, I'm in the middle of cooking dinner or I'm nursing your younger brother in my case. Um, so it actually allows them to feel that it is not pleasant to pee or poop in their pants, which is why they want to make it to the bathroom on time. So this is actually the first, I have three different colors of these. Um, this was the first wrap that I, that I ended up purchasing. I did already have the pre-folds at home, although I did end up getting an extra couple packs. I would say, you know, you probably only need two wraps or covers, um, which will pretty much last you, you know, a couple days without washing. I mean, if you have a really messy mess, you know, you'll want to freshen this up in the wash or, you know, maybe even get three. Um, but they're really economical. I mean, so much more economical than getting your Pampers pull-ups where your child, it's like a diaper, it wicks away the moisture. So you can't really feel that mess. And then of course, like starting them on just regular big boy underpants, which is great. My son loves Toy Story. We got him some of those. That mess just trickles right onto the floor. We have white carpets and running in and trying to see where he messed and cleaning him right away. He never really had the feel of sitting in a mess for a very long time because I wanted to make sure it wasn't getting all over my carpet and all over the couch. The other cover that I'm going to show you that has that wide range where any toddler from ages, or ages, weight of like 18 pounds to 40 pounds can wear this cover is the blueberry coveralls wrap or the blueberry coveralls cover. It, they come in so many super cute designs. This is the monster design, which I love. Um, here's the tag. Uh, blueberry coveralls. I don't know if you can really see that really well. But um, it's the same idea as the Thirsties cover. It has that white clean inside where, you know, if it does get a, a tiny bit messy and, you know, you don't want to throw it in the wash right away, you can kind of just stick it in the sink and wash it off right away with a little bit of soap and a little water. It also, like the Thirsties wrap, has... Um, at the legs, the extra little, um, extra little elastic part for protection so nothing's leaking out. Um, same thing with this, you're just going to lay the pre-folds right in. This also you can snap up if your child is a little bit tinier. You can snap this up or if your child is just the average size toddler, you're just snapping it in at the waist. And um, you know, of course, I always thought when I looked at these, that the snaps were a little intimidating, but really just lay your toddler on the floor and you're just snapping it to fit them. So um, once again, not only are these super cute to watch them running around in and just great training pants because if there is a, there is a poop mess, um, instead of pulling something down their leg, there are other soft, cute training pants. But these are so nice because if they do have an accident, you're snapping it off and you're not causing the mess to go all the way down. You can snap it off and you know keep your dirty laundry in a wet bag um, or just you know in a special laundry pile rinse it on a cold rinse at first just so that none of those stains set and i actually just use tide powder laundry detergent just because it rinses out really well um, so that's what i do i never have any problems with staining actually on my pre-folds they all stay super white and i never even had to bleach them nine times out of ten the mess that they make um, if it's not pee pretty much just like sort of slides off, flops off in the toilet. That's the best thing about pre-folds. It doesn't really stick on there too much, unless it's a different, you know, occasionally their messes are gonna be different and that's a different story. But for the most part, these just work so well and it's less of a headache for you, mom, because it just makes it where you're not pulling it down their leg. You're able to reuse the same cover day in and day out you're not buying those expensive training pants that, you know, those Pampers pull-ups that you throw away after each use and your child's not even feeling the mess, which really kind of defeats the purpose of them not wanting to sit and pee or poop all day. So toddler training, uh, potty training just got easier. I wish someone would have told me this when I started. I'm so glad my sister was like, why don't you try this? Um, it works amazingly and it's very, very cost efficient, very economical for, you know, those of you that are just kind of sick of buying diapers.
put a little bit of money into some covers. You might already have pre-folds sitting around. Um, and you know what? You're set. You're set. And your toddler will learn. Um, I mean, in my case, my son took a long time until I started with these. He was didn't like the feeling of sitting in his mess and started to realize he needed to go to the bathroom just like mommy and daddy. That's what big boys do. I hope this information helped. Have a great day.